Okay, good morning everyone. This is Juan Pablo speaking, teacher Juan Pablo speaking, and um, welcome to another class from Technology 101. This is a recorder class in order to have flip classroom. What is a flip classroom? Uh, easy. I send the video, you watch it before the class, one day before, you take notes, and when we have class, we are not going to have classes. We are going to have activities. So we're going to spend the time having fun and doing other stuff that is not boring. So this class is going to be short. I will try to be no more than 15 minutes. So I'm going to explain the, uh, the class as well. Today's class is about the story of the telephone. As you can see, story of the telephone. So, many of you were born and you know about how to use mobile cell phones and stuff. You are used to use them for playing video games, internet, watching videos and all, all that kind of stuff. But I don't know if you know that the first telephones were not like that. The first telephones didn't have Wi-Fi, didn't have videos, didn't have uh, video games even. Uh, so what's happened there well easy the first the first telephone has the main and only function that was communicated just that so let's go there and let's talk about it so who created who created the telephone well uh this big boy over here alexander graham bell he is from edinburgh in scotland scotland he is famous for the invention of the telephone. I have to say something. Um, it's important you, for you to know that there were many other people who wanted to create the telephone before him, but he was the fastest, uh, clever one, the most clever one, that patent the first telephone. When we talk about patent, is to uh, go to the government and say, this is mine. This is my creation, and I have the rights uh, to sell it, to produce it, and to use it as much as I can, and other people cannot copy my invention. That's what it means, a patent. Now, he first became interested, okay, in the science of sound, because her, both his mother and his wife were deaf. What does it mean, deaf? They can listen. They have listening problems. So basically, they cannot listen. Ah, what do you say? Ah, I'm sorry, I cannot hear you. That's what happens to a deaf people. So, uh, what happened to his mother and his wife? They were both deaf. They, they were both deaf. Naturally, it wasn't for another stuff or an accident, no, just naturally. They were born deaf, and what happened is that he got interested about it. So he asked himself, how does a deaf listen to everyone? I mean, how, how, can, I, how, how can do it that? So he found out that the sound, okay, the vibration, the sounds, were created by vibrations in the air. So, which means if I, uh, I don't know, if I clap my hands, the vibration of those actions, clapping my hands, is what makes the sound to go out of my hands. That's the noise that comes out. It's not just because I uh, crash my hands one to another. It's more about making the sound, the mere action of moving our fingers that makes vibration in the air and that produces the sound, the sound. Now, we know who created now. The first words, words spoken over the telephone, the first telephone, were by Alex Graham Bell on March the 10th on 1876. That's really old. I mean, you were not even in your father's life. Yeah, your father wasn't born also. Nobody of you were existed. 
not even me. They were Miss Mr. Watson from here. I want to see you. That was the first sentence Graham Bell said by using the telephone. But how did he say that? Well, Bell made the first transcontinental telephone call on January 15, on 1915, okay? He called Thomas Watson, his co-worker, he was his co-worker, from New York City, it means Thomas Watson was in New York City and, oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Bell was in New York City and Watson was in Santa, in San Francisco, okay? So, Graham Bell was in the New York, you know, normal. He took the phone and he called Watson on San Francisco and he said, hey, what's up, what are you doing? How's everything going? And it worked, he worked completely. The first intent of, uh, of the telephone happened in one room. It means, it's not that it happened from New York to San Francisco the first time, but it happened to, from one room to another room. It means, Graham Bell, let's suppose he was in the kitchen and Watson was in the uh, in the room, his bedroom. So he called him by using the telephone and he said, Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. That's what he said. So what about the telephone? Can you tell me something about the telephone? Yeah, I'm going to tell you something about the telephone. What does it mean telephone? Okay, a telephone, also called phone, is a communication tool where a tele means distance and phone means voice, okay? That's why it means telephone. That's why you hear television because it comes from the distance, okay? That's what it means telephone. Now, I'm going to show you some characteristics about the telephone, which are early telephones were connected to the walls. The first telephone didn't have neither dials nor numbers to call. What is a dial? Well, it's, it's the one you have when one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you have only 10, zero there. So you call and you click on the on the button, say like beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, and you call and it starts ringing. You didn't have that. So how did you do that? How can you call to a friend if you don't know the number? Well, easy, as they were connected to cables and they were connected to the wall, uh, they need to use an operator. What is an operator? As you can see on the image, okay, these girls over there are operators. What they do is to uh, connect one cable, which is from your telephone, to the other cable from your friend's telephone in order to have the call. So you say, please can I talk to Lorenzo in Bosconia? And you can say the direction also. Carrera 24, da, 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 da. And they said, yes, I'm going to, to, to connect you. So they put the cable and they said, uh, uh, hello, yeah, hey, what's up? Yo, what's up, how you doing? And that's how it went. And that's how it means. So the first telephones, uh, you didn't have numbers to call, okay? You just have to open and grab your telephone and you are automatically calling the operator. The operator are the ones who are going to direct you to the person. This happened only on the first telephones. Then they were evolutioning and having a dial one, they were having phone numbers and the operators were robots now. So we don't need a special people over there. Um, let's go to the other one. Oh yeah, this is how the first phone looked like. So as you can see, we have 
a horseshoe shaped magnet. The magnet is from the metal, from the vibrations, okay? The wire terminals, in this place, you use it for the cables. The cables were connected here, okay? So, if you make the sound, you made it sound here on the trumpet, okay? You have the trumpet, and on the trumpet, you are going to talk, and you're going to listen. You cannot do at the same time. You have to talk, you put your mouth and you talk, and then you put it on your ear to listen. At the first time you have to do that. So the sound makes go here, go here, go here, until the whole show shape magnet that makes it vibrate, vibrations. Those vibrations were connected for this to the cable, the cable, sorry. You see the electromag electromagnet here? This electromagnet made the vibrations go there first so they can go down and finally go to the cable. That's how the first telephone worked. It was really big. Um, you can punch on one with that, I mean, not gonna lie, but it was interesting how they work. Now, this is how they work. You see, this is Graham Bell. Graham Bell was doing that. So he makes the phone call and the sound was coming here and go through these cables and they go whoa, over other places. Nowadays, we have small telephones. We don't have to use wires. We don't have to use cables. We just have to use Wi-Fi or uh, a network from the Claro Movistar TV and stuff. Now, some facts about the telephone. Well, most telephones have their own number now, okay? In the first time, the first time that telephones were created, you didn't have a telephone number. And now you're using. Normally they are about to 10 digits, seven to 10 digits long. During the 20th century, the machines that made the connections, connections were automated. It means we were talking about operators. The first time operators have to be human to do that manually. But now they were uh, like robots. Robots were the ones who redirect you to the call. Telephones change the way how we can communicate with many other people in the world. Now communication changed completely because we are not necessarily have to call someone to talk to him, but we can send a message to him, like from via WhatsApp, Telegram, Messenger, and other um, messaging apps that you can see on the Play Store. Now, uh, mobile phones are not necessary to use cables. You don't have to use cables. You, just, you can have Wi-Fi, you can watch videos, you can have a lot more functionalities than the first one, which is communicate. So feel free to ask whatever you have from the class tomorrow, and I will let you know uh, all the questions you need. I'm going to give you a support video in order to you to understand this better. And tomorrow we will have an activity and I'm going to explain you that on that day. And think about something that you were born in a place where everything was technological and some other people cannot have that opportunity. So have a nice day guys, enjoy the ride and we see you next time.